Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So, I am pleased uh, to welcome you to our lecture today on the pulping process of uh, lignocellulosic material. Yeah? Today, what we are going to do is we will be discussing the various methods and the technique uh, involved in turning this raw material into usable product uh, such as a paper, a cardboard, and other cellulose-based uh, material. As we go deeper into this topic, I hope I can provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the pulping process and the various factors that affect uh, its efficiency and sustainability. Whether you are a student, a material uh, technology student, uh, a paper industry professional, or simply someone interested in learning more about this uh, fascinating topic, I believe that there will be something uh, for everyone uh, in this lecture yeah so without uh, further ado uh, let us begin our lecture so what is a pulping uh, process a uh, pulping process uh, is a process that used in the paper making industry uh, that we can use to convert raw materials uh, such as uh, wood recycled paper and agricultural waste into pulp, a fibrous material that can be used to make paper and other cellulose-based uh, products. And they are two uh, main types of a pulping process. We have a chemical, okay, we have a chemical and mechanical process. And both process have the common goal of extracting cellulose from wood by dissolving uh, the lignin. Uh, that binds uh, the cellulose fiber together. The mechanical pulping uh, is the process uh, in which uh, the wood chips uh, they are broken down into fibers using uh, a mechanical process. And the heat generated by uh, grinding, uh, it will eventually uh, soften the lignin uh, and the mechanical forces uh, separate uh, the fibers uh, to form a ground wood. Yeah. Mechanical pulping, uh, it will destroy more of the wood fibers uh, than a chemical pulping, uh, which uh, can lead to a slightly uh, weaker product. <coughs> mechanical pulp is often used for a new screen uh, and paperboard, and we can say that the main benefit of a mechanical pulping is that almost all of the wood uh, is used efficiently. Yeah, uh, we, uh, I think uh, it is around 95%. Uh, the mechanical pulping uh, will yield uh, around 95% uh, of the wood uh, material used. Right, so now we talk about the wet mechanical treatment. Yeah, uh, wet mechanical treatment is a process uh, used in the pulp and the paper industry <clears throat> to break down uh, raw materials such as uh, wood chips or recycled paper into pulp. Yeah, the process uh, involves uh, using water to separate uh, the fiber uh, through a mechanical action. And here we have uh, some examples of uh, wet mechanical treatment. Uh, we have uh, stone groundwood, SGW, uh, pressure groundwood, uh, PGW, uh, refiner mechanical pulp, RMP, and thermomechanical pulp, uh, TMP. All these are the main products of a wet mechanical uh, treatment. Yeah, so uh, the wet mechanical uh, treatment is a process uh, that used in pulp and paper industry to break down uh, the raw materials into uh, pulp. Yeah, <clears throat> and it will involve uh, using water to separate the fiber uh, through mechanical action. And the raw material is chipped or shredded into uh, small pieces and mixed with water uh, to form a slurry. Yeah? And then the slurry is fed into a refiner which grind uh, the fiber against a rotating uh, metal plate to break them down into more smaller uh, fibers. And then after the mechanical treatment, uh, the slurry uh, will be screened uh, for us to remove the impurity. And uh, we need a further processing, uh, such as the chemical treatment or bleaching, 
uh, it is uh, often needed if we want to remove uh, the lignin and improve the quality uh, of the pulp. Uh, mechanic, uh, wet mechanical treatment uh, is uh, commonly used uh, to produce a pulp uh, for low quality paper product uh, such as uh, use print, uh, tissue paper, uh, and also packaging uh, material. And uh, the resulting pulp is quite weaker and more prone to yellowing and then pulp produced through a chemical uh, pulping uh, process. Right, so this is the, the, uh, the figure that I prepared to show you uh, the, the process that involved in a wet mechanical uh, pulping uh, process. Yeah? As we can see here, uh, it involves uh, some uh, steps uh, as the following. <clears throat> uh, the first one, uh, we have uh, raw materials uh, such as wood, chips, or recycled paper that we fed uh, into the chipper, uh, which breaks down uh, it into a small uh, pieces. <clears throat> and then uh, water is added uh, to the chips in a mixing tank uh, to create uh, what we call as a slurry. Yeah? And then the slurry is then uh, fed into a refiner uh, which use a mechanical action uh, to separate the fiber and break them down into more uh, smaller pieces. And the resulting pulp is then screened uh, to remove any impurities or oversized particles and the pulp uh, may undergo uh, additional processing uh, such as a chemical treatment or bleaching uh, to remove uh, lignin uh, and improve uh, its quality uh, before it can be used uh, to make a paper product. The table here differentiates between uh, mechanical pulping uh, and uh, chemical uh, pulping in terms of uh, purpose, uh, raw material, uh, the output, uh, in terms of uh, lignin uh, removal, uh, the strain of the fiber produced, <clears throat> and also the types of uh, mechanical pulping and uh, chemical pulping, and also its application. So we can say that uh, mechanical pulping, uh, it, it is a process that involves mechanical grinding or refining uh, of wood chips to produce pulp. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we have a chemical pulping uh, that involve chemically breaking down uh, wood chips into pulp using uh, various uh, types of a chemical. <coughs> a mechanical pulping tends to produce a pulp uh, with a higher yield but a lower strength. Uh, on the other hand, a chemical pulping uh, tends to produce a stronger pulp uh, but uh, with a lower uh, yield. All right, now so uh, now we we will be talking about uh, biopulping. Yeah. So what does uh, biopulping do? Yeah. Uh, biopulping uh, will do a pretreatment of wood chips or other fiber material with uh, microorganisms like bioenzyme and make pulp by mechanical pulping or chemi mechanical uh, pulping. <coughs> So what happened uh, during uh, biopulping is that uh, biopulping will selectively dissolve uh, all the lignin uh, of raw materials uh, try to reduce the loss of uh, uh, carbohydrate yeah reduce energy consumption and wastewater pollution improve the strength uh, of uh, the pulp uh, because biopulping uh, produce a superior mechanical pulp uh, it can be considered uh, a good alternative to chemical pulping and uh, it is uh, considered as uh, economical alternative for constructing uh, new mills because it requires a simpler equipment and uh, produce uh, an effluent with reduced uh, BOD. So we can say that uh, biopulping is a process that use naturally occurring uh, microorganism to break down yeah to break down microorganism 
uh, to uh, use microorganism to break down a lignin uh, in a wood chips, uh, reducing the need for chemical and energy typically used in traditional uh, pulping process. And as a result, the resulting pulp uh, has improved quality and can be used in various paper and packaging applications. Alright, so we have talked about uh, mechanical pulping. So now let's move on to uh, chemical uh, pulping. Yeah. So we can say that uh, chemical pulping is the other a uh, common uh, pulping uh, process. And we have uh, four principal process that we can use uh, in chemical pulping, uh, such as uh, craft pulping, uh, sulfide, uh, neutral sulfide, uh, semi-chemical, and as CC and also we have a soda pulping yeah <clears throat> compared to mechanical pulping uh, the main benefit of a chemical uh, pulping is that the pulp fiber produced along yeah the pulp, the pulp fiber produced along and uh, strong and this long fiber uh, can be used to make much uh, stiffer and a stronger a paper product. Uh, the chemical pulping is used for high uh, quality white paper and other quality uh, paper product. And another reason why a chemical pulping is uh, sometimes preferred is because uh, it's a self uh, sustainability. Yeah. Uh, the energy that created uh, from the combustion uh, of uh, its uh, byproduct. Uh, it can be used to generate enough energy to run uh, the whole uh, process. Yeah, but it also has uh, its own drawback. Uh, among the example is that uh, the drawback is uh, chemical pulping is that only 45 percent, uh, only 45 percent of the raw wood uh, that we put in is written as a, a pulp. Uh, that is one of the drawbacks of a chemical uh, pulping. Okay, now uh, let's take a look uh, at the craft uh, pulping uh, process, uh, one of the most important uh, pulping method in chemical pulping process. So a craft process is a way to make a pulp uh, from the wood chips using special chemical. Uh, the process will create a byproduct that we call as a, a black liquor as we can see here yeah the wood chips are cooked uh, in the chemical and the black liquor will be uh, formed the black liquor is important for the process because uh, it helps to remove uh, the lignin uh, from the wood chips and the remaining part uh, will be collected and will be washed uh, creating a brown material that we call as a brown stock. Uh, this material is further processed to become uh, the end product, often by uh, bleaching it. Uh, in this figure here, we can see a simplified uh, process flow diagram of a craft uh, pulp mill. And uh, we can say that uh, we can define a pulping process as the process that involves the separation uh, of the cellulose fiber from other non cellulosic materials uh, in a raw material uh, such as a lignin uh, and a hemicellulose. Okay, now let's move on to a kappa number. Yeah, a kappa number is a measure of the lignin content uh, in pulp and can be determined by measuring the amount of a standard solution of potassium permanganate required to fully oxidize the lignin in a pulp sample. Yeah. So we can say that the kappa number is used as an indicator of the bleachability of pulp with a higher a kappa number indicating that more bleaching is required to achieve a desired brightness. It is also used to monitor the efficiency of the pulping process with changes in kappa number indicating changes in the amount of lignin being removed from the pulp. The kappa number is an indication of the lignin content or bleachability of pulp. Yeah? 
So we can use uh, this standard ISO 302 2015. Uh, we can apply it to all kind of chemical pulp and semi-chemical pulp within the kappa number range 1 to uh, 100. And this is the equation of a kappa number. Yeah, the kappa number is one of the significant uh, parameters for uh, pulp uh, production. You have to remember that the higher the kappa number, the more lignin is present in the pulp sample. Uh, the kappa number is commonly used uh, in the pulp and pep industry uh, for us to assess the quality of pulp uh, produced in the craft uh, pulping uh, process. Uh, the craft process uh, involves removing lignin from the wood fiber to produce a high uh, quality pulp, so lower kappa number is desirable. And uh, what does a higher kappa number indicate? A higher kappa number indicate that the pulp is of a lower quality with a lower yield and a reduced strength. Right, so now uh, let's talk about the soda pulping. Yeah, uh, soda pulping is a chemical uh, pulping uh, process used to produce pulp for uh, paper making. Yeah, it is a type of a chemical process for making the pulp using a sodium uh, hydroxide as the cooking uh, chemical. So the wood chip is a cook in a solution of a sodium uh, hydroxide and sodium sulfide at a high temperature and pressure. Uh, what is the purpose of using a sodium uh, hydroxide here? So the sodium uh, hydroxide uh, will break down uh, the hemicellulose and the lignin in the wood, uh, while the sodium uh, sulfide uh, helps to prevent uh, the breakdown uh, of uh, the uh, cellulose. And then we also have a soda AQ process, uh, antoquinone AQ. It may be used as a pulping additive to decrease the carbohydrate uh, degradation. The soda process will give the pulp with a lower tear strength than other chemical pulping process, but has a still limited use for easy pulp material like straw and some uh, hardwoods. Soda pulping uh, produces a high uh, yield uh, of pulp, but it is less effective at removing a lignin uh, from uh, the pulp compared to other chemical uh, pulping uh, process and the final paper product may have uh, a lower strength and brightness and the chemical use in soda pulping are less environmentally friendly than those used in other pulping uh, process. So here in the figure we can see a simplified uh, soda pulping uh, process uh, diagram. So in the figure we have a digester a recovery furnace and a lime uh, kiln. Yeah? And there are several steps uh, that are not shown here uh, between each box. So here we have, a, we have a white liquor. So white liquor is a solution uh, used in a pulping uh, process. It has a clear color used uh, in a pulping process. It has a clear color, a high uh, pH. It and it contains uh, sodium uh, hydroxide and sodium sulfide uh, and it is, it is used to break down a lignin and to produce a uh, pulp yeah and then uh, we have uh, black liquor here so black liquor is a uh, waste stream uh, from the pulping process uh, it contains most of the original inorganic component uh, mostly in different forms and a high uh, concentration of a uh, dissolved uh, organics. And then uh, we have uh, green liquor here. So uh, green liquor is a partially recovered a craft liquor, intermediate liquor in recovery sequence. Uh, it, is it is a solution from recovery process. It has a green color. It has a high pH and contains uh, sodium sulfide and uh, the inorganic uh, compound. So here we can see a table that uh, compare 
the differences between uh, graph uh, versus sort of pulping uh, in terms of uh, chemical use, uh, in terms of uh, lignin removal, the yield, the pulp quality, environmental impact, and also the wood type. Uh, if, if we look here, we can see that in terms of uh, chemical use in soda pulping, uh, we can see that sodium hydroxide uh, is used as the, as the main cooking chemical. Uh, on the other hand, in craft pulping, uh, a mixture of uh, sodium uh, hydroxide and uh, sodium uh, sulfide uh, is, uh, is used. Yeah? And then in terms of uh, lignin removal, uh, we can uh, see from the table, uh, the craft pulping is more effective uh, process for removing lignin uh, from the wood fibers. And this will result in a higher quality pulp uh, with a better strength and brightness properties compared to uh, soda pulping. And in terms of uh, environmental impact, uh, soda pulping will produce less waste and it is considered to be environmentally friendly process uh, if we compare it to craft pulping, uh, which generate a large quantity of black liquor and, high, and has a higher chemical uh, oxygen demand, COD. As we have discussed, the pulping process uh, play an uh, important role in the, in the production of a various product that we use uh, daily, uh, such as a paper, a cardboard, and many others. Uh, it is also important to consider the environmental impact of uh, this process and how uh, we can make it more sustainable. Right, I hope you enjoy uh, our discussion, and if you have any question or comment, uh, please uh, feel free to ask me. Uh, thank you again for attention and have a great day.